Ben Bratton here uh, at the 2015 National Championships. Uh, Ben lost a tough one today going out in the, uh, the four to make the final. Uh, how'd that make you feel? Um, well, I mean, you always want to win, but uh, Jason, he was fed saying lights out amazing today. Um, I didn't really have much to kind of, I really couldn't answer a lot of the stuff he was doing. Um, usually I match up is pretty even, a little bit closer, um, but today, you know, he fits really well, so I tip my hat off to him and, you know, I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, you're, you're number one in, in the, the team point standings. How, how do you get yourself prepared or kind of pumped up coming in when when there's not that pressure on you to kind of uh, you know make make the team or, or right. get your get your nose in there? Well, to be perfectly honest, it's always a relief to enter a competition without having a added pressure. You know, like. Uh, in the past, I've had guys that were, you know, ahead of me on the ranking, and I was had to fight my way to make it on the teams. Um, I'm a little bit, I'm relieved to just be able to like come out here and like enjoy the moment and you know and fence. And I think it's it's been helping me. It's helped me to kind of like stay on top that I can just kind of uh, you know ride this little bit of a lead that I have and to you know enjoy enjoy the moment, enjoy fencing. <laughs> and, and you talked about in the past where you did have that, that added pressure yeah. and you had other guys before you. You know, they're a strong FA team uh, in kind of the last squad. How, how was it fencing under them that, that helped you to kind of now be the, the top guy in the squad? I mean, those guys were like hands down some of the best mentors I've ever had in fencing. I mean, like, you know, when you're, when you're like 25 years old and you're fencing with like guys that have been on like two, three Olympic teams and like, you know, they have all this experience. You kind of just sit quiet, you know, you hope to contribute where you can and, you know, to take away as much as possible. And so, I mean, now, and I, you know, I've talked to them. I'm, I'm basically just trying to do the same thing for, for this new group of guys that, um, that they did for me. And I mean, these, these new guys are just as capable as, uh, as that last team. I'm really excited about, you know, where the team's going and, you know, our outlook, you know, headed towards Rio. It's gonna be big, and and uh, you know you talk about learning, learning before and and now kind of being that that mentor. Yeah. Uh, you know some people talk about your your strip presence and uh, the the intensity you bring to it. You know, are you a bit of a bully out there, or, or what's your <laughs> what's your approach to every bout? I, I'm competitive. All right. I uh, I mean I'm I mean I'm sure my competitors are gonna feel you know some of the theatrics that I that I bring to the strip but um I mean that's I leave it all out there you know I want to make sure that I I'm trying my best and um I think everyone that I I built a reputation to, for myself at this point that everyone kind of realizes that like that's who I am on the strip I fence hard I'm hard there but like I'll definitely like I'm a nice guy you know off the strip so it's a uh, we just I just leave it there definitely and and, <laughs> and you know about those theatrics you're, you know, watching you today. The energy is clear. Yeah. Uh, you know, yelling after after every touch. Is it is is that to, like, maintain your own hype or yeah. is it to intimidate the? That's the thing. Like, from an outsider's perspective, it would look like I'm just trying to like intimidate my opponent. That's to keep me up. You know, like I really have to. I if I if I'm if I'm not doing those things, like I'm really low and it's just I'm not putting out the best fencing that I possibly can. So. Um, you know, I'm excited that I'm getting these touches. Like, I'm just, I'm just as nervous as the next guy. So, like, when I score a touch in a big moment, I'm excited. So I'm gonna let it out, and I just like, and I freak out. Um, it, it happens. I've been doing it that way since I was a kid. I don't know any other way to do it. <laughs> I've tried. It just doesn't work. So I kind of stick with it. And I think everyone, everyone kind of knows that that's just what I do to hype myself up. That's your reputation. Like you said, <laughs> it's, it's definitely working. <laughs> yeah. Now after after 2012, you took a, a bit of a, a break from the sport. Yeah. Uh, how, well, how did you spend that time away from the sport? Um, well, I really after 2012, we won you know the team world championships. That was huge. Um, I thought that that was the perfect time to like just step away and you know reassess things. You know, I'd been I was really exhausted just from you know all of the wear and tear of like you know competing for 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 a games so, like that's that's about as hard as it could get. You know, on like your anxiety and just like your your body. I, I can't even like describe really how it how that works. But like um, yeah, I, I thought to just you know take some time off to kind of recalibrate. It turned into a lot longer than I anticipated, but uh, I definitely don't regret it. So I got married, 
Um, that was huge. Um, hi, wife. <laughs> but uh, it was a, uh, it was really, um, it was eye-opening. You know, I just wanted to see what the world offered outside of fencing, and I always knew it would be there um, if I if I chose to come back. Yeah. And and you mentioned it being an eye-opening experience. How did that time away impact your perspective on the sport? I mean, like, I mean, I spent so much time. We're in this like very competitive setting. It's always intense. Your interactions with people are way different than people like outside of fencing. So it's, I mean, like that was probably like my favorite part of uh, taking some time off was just to meet people that weren't always competing with me or like that I wasn't competing with or that we didn't have like the same goal. Um, so I, I thought that was kind of refreshing. I learned a little bit more about myself, I think, as a as a as a human being as opposed to like a competitor, which uh, that that really felt good. So um, I think that, that that that's probably my biggest takeaway. It's like not everyone is training for the Olympics, and it's okay to you know hang out with some guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, well, we uh, we hope you can continue to kind of have that balance Thank in a, a very unbalanced life. <laughs> and uh, best of luck to you. Thanks. Path forward. Yeah.